At the beginning of the movie we are introduced to a man whose name is Pharaoh Olivetti who was a self-made billionaire. But this is not how he was born he spent his childhood in Italy very close to his father. As he grew up he went to the United States and became super successful with his hard work. However, his father was worried if he was ever going to find true love while he was surrounded by tons of women and wealth. Pharaoh is a very powerful man and he is known for being a womanizer by the whole world. One day, he was sitting along with his friend and got a call from his mother back in Italy. It is revealed that his father was taking his last breath so he immediately takes a flight to Italy to see his father one last time. Upon meeting, they both get emotional and while his father struggled to speak his father asked Pharaoh for his last wish. His father wanted him to go somewhere far from his business wealth and everything and live on his own without any money for no less than a month as if he was homeless. Pharaoh tried to postpone the question, but seeing his father dying he could not say no anymore and agreed to his wish. Pharaoh's father passes away while Pharaoh leaves his mother after expressing care and love. At his office, he tells his assistant secretary that he will leave for a month. Being a powerful billionaire whose every hour can make a difference of millions it was a hard decision for him to make. He changes his identity with his driver who was called Claude so that no one could identify him on his journey. We also come across an arrogant man who gives tons of trouble to flight attendants. However, she could not resist the annoyance and teach him a lesson by slapping the potato three times as if it was a little child. Because earlier the man said the potato was bad which makes everyone laugh. Pharaoh arrives in the city with a bag in his hand and gets a lift from the truck driver. Meanwhile, the same arrogant man from the airplane gets a cab, in which a mysterious woman was present in the car. She sounded like the opposite of what the arrogant man is. Very polite Pharaoh tries to apply for a job at the local shop, however after looking at Pharaoh weirdly he denies giving any type of work. Pharaoh finally reaches a bar and starts devouring the food that was sitting there as snacks for the customers basically free food. Being a good looking guy Pharaoh was approached by a woman sitting there who asks him some questions about the place he was staying and the work he does. He nervously answers questions indirectly which confuses and pisses off the women and she leaves on the spot. Suddenly, a woman who looked desperate for good looking men sits beside him and gets to know he needed a place to live for the night. Then we can see him coming to an apartment where Pharaoh along with Peta arrives and notices the same women we have seen earlier driving the car. Soon Peta comes out with revealing clothes and tries her best to persuade the Pharaoh to have some lovely moments, but Pharaoh makes some excuses and they fall asleep. Since Peta's snoring could not let Pharaoh sleep he walks outside and takes a closer look at Diane which results in her waking up. She calls for Peta who throws him out of the apartment right after. Even though later it is revealed they both found Pharaoh good looking. While Pharaoh was all alone on the streets two thugs try to rob him. However, he punches them and runs away and hides in a spot which also turns out to be a disaster because the women called the cops on him. Upon leaving the location cops take him and put him to a local jail cell. After he calls his assistant to buy a 50 million worth of shares he is moved to a jail cell where he finds a big criminal who soon started to play with him which results in both getting into a fight. Cops see this and take the man out of the cell this was too much for such a powerful man to handle. However, he recalls the promise he made to his father. Next morning, we can see Pharaoh waking up and asking if he can stay until breakfast. But, cops do not listen to a word he said and freeze him since the thugs from last night were arrested and his story comes out to be true. Pharaoh's hunger was getting the best of him and he decided to head into a local store and try to trade 50 cents and a pack of rubber for some food that he had. But this does not work out in his favor. The same mysterious woman can be seen walking back to her house while a creepy man is following her which makes her uncomfortable. She arrives back home and shouts for her mother while knocking on the door nervously. Upon entering the house she is finally relieved where her mother asks her to meet a guy who has been trying to go on a date with her but she denies. It was clear something has happened in her life due to which she was afraid of going on dates. It was the night time and Pharaoh sat on a bench where he meets a crazy woman who makes him leave. Next morning, after waking up he goes out in the city to satisfy his hunger. However upon reaching a hot dog stall he asks the man to give him something for 50 cents but the stall owner takes a close look at him and gives him a free hot dog. While Pharaoh was looking for a job in the newspaper he was caught off guard and hit by a vehicle. There the guy hears his story and decides to help him out. He takes him to his boss's house who was looking for a driver. He encounters the boss man and his wife fighting and he arrives further inside the house. The man asks him to sit and offers him $600 for driving and other duties. Meanwhile his wife was looking at Pharaoh desperately. Suddenly, his spoiled daughter arrives and asks for $500 which he gives away as if it was nothing. The arrogant man asks for his references and tells him to leave, but his wife hires him for the night as a bartender. At night, people were treating him badly with lots of disrespect which was making things harder for him. He is also told to drop a drunk man to his house.